day I met with Christy and we were just looking at some other things that might streamline operations there, one thing that they suggested in Exhibit A of the contract in Section 10, it references a collection uh, releasing the dogs and from impound. She felt it would be helpful if they could collect those fees so that they don't, the person that's trying to get the dog at an impound doesn't have to come up here to City Hall, write the check, and then go back there and get the dog released. So that on the weekends, if when City Hall is closed, they can't release a dog. So we're going to modify that language, um, work with RG on that this week, and see if we can get that ready to go for maybe like for next week. There was also an issue with the uh, amounts collected. They were quite different. Uh, the amount that I think we collected wasn't enough to cover the amount that the yeah. local New Gorsuna study was charging, so we need to equalize. It's, well, that's actually the language. I worked on that with Scott Russell some time ago. I spoke to Don about that today. So he told me he would get that ready to go for us so that at least we're not losing money right. on the deal. Right, right. Yeah. We're not subsidizing the public every time, <laughs> you know, <laughs> they go so, and pick up a dog. Yeah. And that one will hold up the agreement that's internal to ourselves. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's just part of the ordinance. Of this. Okay. So I'll have it ready if everything works out this week, I think. I just have a question <laughs> in regards to that. So uh, the Columbia Gorge Humane Society, they bill us for $10 a, bit a day per dog. And then um, if dogs are re recovered when they are, then the owner actually pays that $10 back to the city? Or is that the way that does part of the, work? That's part of the impound fees and the daily fees okay. that we're talking about. And what, what we would be doing if it is deemed appropriate through all the powers to be, is that the hum either the city could do that. You could come in here to City Hall and say, I need to get Fido out, right? Here's the bill, here's, here's your receipt, go take it down. Or if it's on a weekend, if it's after hours, that type of stuff, that same information is available to <coughs> either the officer or to the Humane Society so that they could collect that on our behalf. They don't keep it, they just collect it on our behalf so that Fido can go home at that point and not see mom and dad walk out. But that particular cost is revenue, I mean, neutral, revenue neutral. Correct. So it should be. Correct. They bill us. It's not currently, paid. but it will be. Okay. And that's what the change is, is that $5 difference in there. And then I guess I do have a question that's even, uh, I guess, a little and, bit and higher. And amazingly, it is equal for Camus. It's not for Washougal. Camus does charge the $10 per day. Oh, okay. I believe. Do they not? Yeah. So, <laughs> go figure. <laughs> So are we putting together some kind of a group to talk to West Columbia Gorge uh, to moderate, you know, I mean, to actually, because I, I'm sure, I can't imagine that next year we would be able to appropriate up to 25 grand for their operation. And I know we'd like to keep them in business, but not at the city's expense. So we need to actually put together some kind of a a small group to get together with them. It's like, how do they stay in business without putting the burden on the city? Honestly, I mean, I think uh, most pet owners, if you talk to them and say, would you consider donating 10, do 10 bucks an animal uh, to keep this going, I think they would be funded. But it would take some, a little bit of prodding. We're the go-to people. I'm not so sure if there was an approach by both sides to the Southwest Washington Humane Society that they mm. may not fund the 25000 if it saves them the amount of money that I'm told it saves them. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, uh, do I understand that, that um, the issue of uh, whether we we're going to solve that uh, dilemma with the, um, the society, is that going to come before the council during the workshop session in the near future? Is that on the radar? I would hope it will come out of these budget sessions. Okay. All right. Yeah, because I, I agree with you that that's a discussion we need to have. And on some level, I mean, there are a lot of different um, issues wrapped up into this. Uh, because uh, if you if you think that uh, the the job of the city is to protect life, liberty, and property, well, taking or keeping the uh, pet problem under control for stray pets is part of protecting <coughs> property. So there might be some philosophical mandate that says we need to do something there. 
whether that means that we need to fund the, this society, which I think most of the, the community would recognize as an asset, but whether that solution is required versus some other solution, which is well, more, uh, more to the point and less, less of a no-kill um, solution, that's, uh, I don't know how we're gonna solve all of these issues, but I do know that we need to have those discussions without discussions. the, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, without the time crunch that we had last time. Mm -hmm. yep. um, the budget finance item is done already. Uh, a brief report on the city administrator recruitment process. Uh, at mayor's direction, we have been doing this internally, and it is worth noting that uh, uh, consultants have their, their place and, and have their values and so on, and we have uh, most likely avoided in the range of $30,000 by undertaking this ourselves. Um, we had 109. We had 109. Uh, wow. May have been a handful that came in after the deadline. I just <coughs> put everything into a spreadsheet, but we did spreadsheets, but we did have 109. For mm -hmm. the record, Letters of interest. no one who came in a minute after the deadline. <laughs> <laughs> I said I reject that. letters. You know, all eyes go to you. <laughs> uh, you know, it. I'm not the bad guy. Uh, no, 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 it's, it's, no, no. Especially no. something like this that makes all sorts of sense. Um, the, uh, I think we can fairly say that it is a very deliberate, professional, and proper process, which we previously outlined at the uh, retreat, January 8th and 9th. I dare say we're just a little bit ahead of schedule, which makes me happy. And um, uh, aside from the, the uh, 100 plus applicants, I think the quality of the, uh, the top 20 or so is, is good. You know, the, the major huge goal is to have very good choices to place before the mayor and um, then they'll have to worry about it all. Um, if, if I quipped a little bit about 10 days or 14 days or whatever, I'd like to say that it, it's been a remarkable assignment. It's not done yet. I'm still pushing stuff um, and uh, people have been very nice. We have a lot of work to do. And I see a willingness to do lots and lots of good work. And professionally and personally, it's been very engaging for me. And uh, as Martha Stewart would say, that's a good thing. <laughs> so thank you all uh, in advance for your helpfulness. Uh, I'd be happy to enter any, entertain any questions. I want to acknowledge the uh, helpful giving of time by the professional uh, Elizabeth Gatelli, uh, HR director for the city of Vancouver, a highly experienced, very professional, competent person. And then Eric Holmes may be a name familiar to many of you. He is familiar with, uh, with our community, has worked here for this organization before, currently the uh, economic development director for the city of Vancouver, and previously a very successful uh, city manager at Battleground for five years or so and he has also agreed to take part in the processes and it's it's really very nice when people of those kinds of qualities put their hand up and say yeah we'll take part hmm. we'll, we'll help out in the city family so that's the report uh, Jeanette I welcome you to supplement it or